Good morning. My name is Miss Reed, and I teach fifth grade here at Trevette Elementary School. Today, we'll, we're going to be doing a lesson on science. Uh, we are going to be looking at light as we finish our light unit. All right, so let's begin. Class, class. Yes, yes. Eyes on me. Eyes on you. Let's start by doing our objective for today. Um, Mira? Mira. Mira. I can. I can. Describe, Describe how light, how light travels. travels. Excellent. So we are going to be doing a lesson today on how light travels as we finish up our light unit. But first, I have a padlet up. And I want you guys to describe to me how does light travel? What have we been talking about in class? So go ahead and click on the plus sign on the corner of your screen. And you can type in, in just one word. You can type a sentence in. Something brief about how light travels. And please include your name on there as well. I see some great stuff coming in. Give you about 15 more seconds. All right, so all of your posts are up. Let's see what you guys were talking about. So Rylan said light can reflect. Excellent. Jada, light travels in a straight line. Very good. What do we call those straight lines that they travel in? Raising your hand. What do we call that, James? It, it, they, do, they are waves, and they travel in a straight line, but what do we call those straight lines? Lizzie? Ray. A ray, very good, a ray. I also see up here, light, um, light travels in a perfect path, so that would be like a straight line. It also bounces and it bends. Can we talk like a scientist? What does bouncing mean? How can light bounce? Speak like a scientist. Kaylee? It can reflect, very good. And then we say light can bend. What does that mean? Yes? It can refract, very good. Now, if light can reflect, what does it reflect off of? What is something that's reflective? Jumana? Mirrors. Mirrors are reflective. Can we think of another type of material that's reflective? Virginia? Metal. Metal, very good. One more. A shiny car. Oh, a shiny car, yes. Shiny cars can be reflective as well. Now, the other part we talked about was refract. Can someone give an example of light refracting? That can be tricky. Lizzie, you have one? Oh, whenever you put the pencil in the water. When you put pencil in the water, it looks like the pencil is broken, right? It bends that pencil. Very good. All right, so we're going to get into our fun activity today. Could you please close your computer tops and put them to the side? finishing up our light unit, I thought it would be really fun if we could experiment and explore with some lasers today, okay? I have a quick video clip from one of my favorite movies, and this video clip is going to show you how light can reflect. Did you see the light reflect in that video? Yeah. What did the light reflect off of? Mirrors. Mirrors. So let's get into our challenge. <clears throat> our challenge today, using your knowledge of how light travels, you must use mirrors to reflect a ray of light from a laser to hit a target. So this is an example of what the target looks like. It looks just like a bullseye. And your goal is to actually hit right in the middle of this target with your laser. Now, how do you think we're going to be able to do that? Do you think Ms. Regis wants you to 
shine the light at the target like that. You think I'm going to make it that easy for you? No. no. What do you think we're going to be doing, Carmela? We're going to be reflecting it off of mirrors onto Excellent. We're going to be reflecting it off of mirrors onto the target. So let me pass out your papers here. And I want you guys to look at the very first box. So all good scientists make predictions before they explore. So we're going to make predictions here today. Before we begin our activity, I want you to predict what you think is going to happen. How are you going to use those mirrors to help you hit this target? Do you think the distance is going to affect it? Do you think the type of mirror is going to affect it? Go ahead and write in that first box your prediction. What do you think will happen when a laser is pointed in a mirror? Oh, I love how I see some diagrams. I also see some sentences. That's great. Give you a couple more seconds. Go ahead and talk with your table groups about your predictions. Go ahead and share what you think is going to happen with these lasers and mirrors. I, I did the diagram. I'm I better drawing stuff. I think I well, drawing. a good idea was is if the like mirror was at an angle, so where the laser could hit it perfectly, so it could like go hit the target. Yeah, I did like. I think like you need to going to need like three or two mirrors. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah I think three. Good. What are you guys thinking over here? Um, if we get more mirrors, then it will be harder for oh to, for the light to hit the target. Why do you think it's going to be more needs difficult? To be more angles for the light to hit. Oh, I love how you're using those math terms. It might be more angles. It might be more difficult. Okay. Anybody else? What are you, what are you thinking, Ava? What are you thinking? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, so having those mirrors reflect off of each other. Okay. Okay, so you're probably going to have to play around with those positions a little bit. All right, sounds like some good stuff. We're going to find out in just a moment. I, if we add more mirrors, it might get more difficult. Some of you talked about holding your laser, the position of the laser. Some of you discussed the distance, how far the laser is from the target. So I'm hearing some great things. So we're going to test and see what's going to actually happen. So let's look at our challenge here. You're going to have three rounds, friends. Um, the first round is going to be a little more easy. I'm going to give you one mirror to start off with. But I'm going to tell you the distance that you're going to place your laser at. Look at that distance. Look on your paper. Can someone read that to me? What distance does Ms. Reed want you to place it at? I'm throwing you off a little bit, aren't I? What does it say, Jada? Oh, I, I was just making a prediction saying you, you're just going to bounce off of well, well, what was my distance that I have on the paper? Um, How do you read that number? Zero point three kilometers. Okay. How else can I read that in more like a mathematician? How can I read that? So zero point three. How do you read that number, Lizzie? Zero and three tenths. Thank you. Three tenths of a kilometer. Now, we know from math that kilometers is about a ten minute walk for one kilometer, right? Do I have a measuring tool that long? No. All I have is a metric meter stick okay so 
What do you think Ms. Reed's gonna want you to do? Hmm, what have we been learning in math lately? What do you think, Carmela? Well, we only have one meter stick. Look at, look at your paper one more time. Rylan, we're gonna put it into centimeters. And how are we gonna put it into centimeters? What have we been doing in math? How are we going to put this into centimeters, Kaylee? We're going to convert it. We're going to use our, our conversion chart to help us convert it into centimeters. So not only are we just doing science today, but we're also doing a little bit of math too. Okay? All right. So before you guys begin, you're going to have to convert from kilometers into centimeters. And that is going to tell you where you're going to place your laser on the meter stick. Okay? Now, I'm going to pass out materials in just a moment, but I want you to see how you're going to set it up. So eyes over here, please. You're going to have your meter stick down. You're going to put your target at one end, and then you're going to use your laser, placing it depending on where the distance is telling you on that challenge, on that round. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay? Um, so we're going to get started. I'm going to pass out materials so you can start your first round. Before you begin, in order for me to be able to see your setup, you are going to draw a diagram of how you place your mirror. Okay? Within that diagram, I want you to label your angles by name. So what are the names of our angles that we've learned this year? Yes. It could be an acute angle in there. What else? A right angle. A right angle. An obtuse angle, OK? So if you see those angles within your diagram, I want you to label those. We're going to add one more math piece into this, OK? All right, I want you to go ahead and get started with your groups on your first round. You found out where you're placing your laser. No. OK, that's your first step. Find your distance first. Okay. All right, lasers are not on yet because you have not found your distance yet. Has anybody been successful yet? No. Awesome. If you have, go ahead and draw that diagram on your paper. Okay, because you're trying to hit this target, right? So look at where that light is shining. You might have to put your hand in front of it so you can see where is that light. And then you may have to adjust your mirror a little bit. Come on, Felipe, get involved, man. Okay. It's still. You, shine it, where is it at? Shine it on here? No. All right, let's see where it's going. So keep leaning it. Uh oh, you got to stay on there. Keep turning. Oh, it's, all, it's all the way on the back of the board over there. You got to bring it down a little bit. You got to tilt it. Now it's on Lizzie. Keep playing with it. You guys help her out. Keep playing with it. Maybe. Okay. Raise your hand if your group has been successful with the first round. Awesome. If you haven't been successful, it's okay. You have to keep working with it to figure it out. Um, if you have been successful, I want you to move on to round two. You're going to add another mirror to your challenge. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed learning about light. Go Tigers!